I'm author Peter Millett. I'm the reader of such well-known children's books as Bad Guys, Wimpy Kid, World Worst Children, and The Treehouse Adventures. I'm also an author, and I've written such stories as Boy Zero Wannabe Hero, Johnny Danger DIY Spy, The Anzac Biscuit Man, Five Little Ducks Went Off to School, Moa's Ark, The Kiwi Go Marching One by One. It's a lot of books there, isn't there? My Old Man, He Played Rugby, and one of my most popular books, The Anzac Puppy. I'm here to give a quick presentation about reading. This year in the world has been a very, very uh, difficult time for a lot of people. There's been many distractions, but I want to say one of the best things um, a young person can do in these times is read books. And reading books, I would say, is more beneficial than playing video games, but controversial, uh, or even watching uh, DVD movies. I would absolutely go into bat for books as being one of the best possible things you could do at this time in history. I'm going to give you a little bit of a background into how books are made, what I like about books, so stay tuned for some fun experiences in the next few minutes. Alrighty, books like Johnny Danger create an experience of the multi-senses. If you see a movie, you watch a movie and that's exciting, that's fun. But a book like Johnny Danger puts you, the reader, inside the story. And I'll give you a very, very simple example. This book was inspired by a smelly old milk bottle. Okay, I don't have the original milk bottle, but I have a lookalike replica right here. One day, I discovered a bottle of milk, which I thought was something I should drink from. I am. Okay. Bottle? Oh my, oh ho ho! It was repulsive. It was like the inside of an elephant's abdomen. There is nothing potentially more disgusting to smell than a two-week-old bottle of milk. All right, so here's a solution. How would you uh, tackle a disgusting experience like a bottle of milk opened and wafting through your face? Very, very simple, in fact. By simply locating Vicks Vapor Rub, available in most uh, places for purchase. I'll get some here. A place of the Vicks Vapor Rub there. Quite tangy. Then... Moments later, you uncork. Fine, smells like lavender. All right, so that was the beginning of how I created the Johnny Danger Spy series. That experience with a disgusting smell led me to think, could a child spy invent gadgets and invent solutions along those lines? So this is how I, as a writer, infuse these feelings and sensations and ideas into a book. When you read a book, you will experience the smell of the disgusting milk and you will experience the tangy smell of the Vicks Vapor Rub. You cannot do this with a video game or by watching a movie. This is one example of why reading, in my opinion, is the best thing people can be doing in these times. Get ready for this year's most epic comedy series for children, The Invincibles. Join in the fun as five kids are transformed into awesome footy heroes who only have 80 minutes to use their sporty powers or it's game over. The Invincibles, coming to all legendary bookstores near you. Okay, here's another example. When I write a book, I'm looking for a bright idea, like perhaps a light going off. Just bring this right to the camera here. Very exciting. This is quite a dangerous object here. Potentially I could be electrocuted. If I was electrocuted, my hair would stand on end. Obviously, if there is a, a severe electrocution, this video will end quite quickly, but there will be a record for permanent, uh, permanent viewers. When I wanted to write a story about a group of young superheroes, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if the power that you could isolate electricity could be shared by joining hands with other people and that power surged through all of the members and when there was enough to create a circuit that meant those people had unbelievable superpowers flying 
running at a uh, thousand kilometers per hour. Uh, but the main thing where this story idea for the Invincibles came from was the sharing of power and how sharing power together makes people stronger. And I'll just give you a, a live example to say this is quite a, uh, a dangerous thing to be doing. There is so much power transforming through here that it can electrocute a basic biro pen. I would try this. I'm not using any safe instructions here. One, two, three. Look at that power going through. It has now created a power in the pen. That power has been transported. So this is again another example of book writing and book reading. If you read my book, The Invincibles, you will feel the power surge through you as well as the characters. Again, you cannot do this in a movie or in a video game. This is something all of your senses will be in action. And uh, The Invincibles uh, certainly has got some very, very powerful moments in it. Okay, so hopefully that was just a little bit of a background on some of the um, the ways that, that books are used, the way that books are made. I'm trying my best to simply promote how fun re reading is as an exercise. Um, and a lot of uh, people help me with the books. I have fantastic illustrators. So the books that I've mentioned which control uh, contain uh, much uh, laughter and uh, senses and uh, text also can be complemented with beautiful artwork. And one example here is from Mao Zark, uh, Sean Yeo one of the best illustrators we've ever seen in New Zealand. And he brings these books to life with beautiful artwork. Uh, the Anzac Biscuit Man is another book that Sean and I have worked on together. This book also includes a recipe at the back. Look at that for a bonus feature. You can go and bake the actual character of the story. So reading is a multi-sense activity. You use your eyes, you use your taste, you use your smell, you use your imagination. Sometimes books will make you a little bit scared. Uh, maybe they're not the best thing to do if you're just about to go to sleep. Uh, but certainly um, they'll make you uh, intrigued. How will this book end? Reading is a wonderful, uh, a wonderful, wonderful activity to do. I have so much fun writing books. There are dozens of other writers uh, who I know who will all say the same thing. All of us have the time of our lives creating books for young readers to enjoy. I'll include a few more funny video clips at the end of this presentation, and all of them are celebrating reading. Thanks for watching.